Those are the zip lines that you'll be using after you've cleared the hub world. Ah, uh, well, let me lift. Well, you don't well, know where. How else am I supposed to get swole? Well, you don't know where the swole is yet. Where are you gonna go? You're just gonna ride that thing till it goes around? Yes. I mean, that would expedite this tour. Exactly. Jesus, that's... That was the boat you came in on. That's what's left of it, anyway. Yeah, it is fucking gutted. I mean, to be fair, you pretty Man, much ran in... Man, they set up the zip line fast. Actually, the implications you've been missing for like a week. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Still, that's pretty quick. Oh, awesome, blacksmith. Yeah. Uh, as well, some of this shit was here before. After all, you are the fifth. Yeah. So... Awesome. You were like the next wave of people coming and trying to figure this shit out. Give me my weapons! Won't give it to you yet, but this guy's cool. The illustrious fifth has arrived. Mm. God damn it. Oh, wait! Is this the store? This is the store where you can just buy the pre-made weapons. Ah. Uh. Which does become useful because now the builds are on a tree. Like a visible, you can chart it out tree. Which is quite nice. Engineer. Yeah, it, yeah, it used to only show you one step above. Yeah. So now you can actually plot your shit out and like decide what you want to hunt to build your weapons. Which is just nice. Yeah, so here's the canteen, which... Yeah, I used to I just always use the wiki for that. Yep. They've awesome. actually made, like, a quite a few quality of life improvements. Here's where I get my stat boosts before hunting, I suppose. Yep. Always remember, folks, eat your fucking pre-war steak. Pre-war steak is the most important steak. steak of the day. How will you kill if you're not filled with delicious murder energies? You need to eat some of your previous kill in yeah. a ritual sacrifice before you go out and kill the next thing. Yeah, or else you won't have their delicious courage. Exactly. Yeah. Look at it attempt to emote. Hate it. That cat has accomplished more in five seconds than David Cage has over his entire career. Uh, it's right. funny because it's true. Are you excited for his new game, Black People Are Robots? No, but I'm excited for his uh, press release, I Swear I'm Not a Sexist, I Worked with Ellen Page. <laughs> He's already had that one. Right, right in front of the giant farting dick and balls. <laughs> yep. This is a mature workplace, we do not fuck around. <laughs> and it's just like, fucking... Also, he sabotages himself, really. Apparently people in his office were pasting each other's faces over porn stars. <laughs> yeah. Like, wow. That, like, the best way I've heard it described was uh, I was listening to the Two Best Friend podcast and Matt was just losing. He was like, are you telling me that the guy with... Creepy sex shit in his games is now in trouble for being a creepy sex weirdo? <laughs> Shocking! <laughs> I mean, it's fine if that's the way you want to run your business. Just don't pretend to not be that. Yeah. Just be up oh, no, about sorry. the fact that you're I got a it wrong. creepy sex weirdos. He, he, his specific wording was, are you telling me that the guy with a bunch of creepy sex shit in his games turned out to be a creepy creepazoid? <laughs> Shocking. It's like if Plague of Gripes started a studio, everything would be just a little unsettling. Including the portrait of himself in a clown suit that he would probably hang. Yeah, wasn't... Oh, man, what was that picture of him, like, riding a girl with a bridle in her mouth? <laughs> and then there was, like, a bee that was being tortured by a mermaid or something? No, it was a bee being tortured by a mermaid, and next to it was a um, clown, like, baby feeding a man in a giant, like, pamper. Jay, put up that image. Yeah. And just all of them are okay with it. Yeah. And Plague's just really fucking weirded out. <laughs> no, he wasn't even weirded out. He was just sitting on that bridle like, yeah. That's life. Yep. Not the creepy sex thing. <laughs> awesome. Fucking give me my weapon. Yeah, go into your, literally go into your houseboat house and get your weapon out of your magical tickle trunk. Hooray! Oh man, there were always like two trunks, one in your house and one outside your house, and it just was a question of whether you wanted to check at all the achievements you'd built. Mm-hmm. So in this game, there's a fucking box next to every exit of the zone. Oh, nice! Yeah. There's like three or four ways you can just walk out of this hub world. Oh, well, there's my first piece of furniture, I suppose. So... Big cat head. 
Nah, that's your cat's furniture. You get like a bed somewhere. I think that's your bed. Make sure to choose a weapon that suits you. Item box. Change yeah. equip. Blah blah blah. Fuck, I know how weapons work. I'm not new to this. Okay, sword and shield. So there you go. <laughs> it's literally called the Buster Sword. They've just dropped all pretense. It's just gone now. Hammer. Proto, Proto commission it. So that's, that's the switch, switch axe. axe. Yep. No, this is the switch axe. This is the charge blade. That's it. Gun lance, regular lance, hunting The bagpipe. <laughs> I always kind of wanted to learn to play insect glaive, but I'll do that on my own time. Yeah. Chain blitz. You get two crossbows now. And you can change out your bugs. Maldrone and... Cultron? <laughs> well, that's about right. Hmm. You know, I kind of want to play... When when I do my actual playthrough, I'm going to probably do a bow gun. Yeah. But I don't want to have to worry about inventory management on a shell. So I'm going to go the weeb route. The katana's not terrible. Well, I mean, your starting one is, but... You have a lot of attack, I'll give it that. Yep. Neato. I wonder if they kept the, like, instant dodge thing from, um... I'm, I don't know, I haven't used it, honestly. Okay, Monster Hunter Cross had, or Generations in the West, um, had, like, three different hunting styles for every weapon. And, uh, one of the ones for the... Oh, I don't think that's been kept. Okay. Yet. Or, at the very least, I haven't been prompted to pick it for my fucking... One of the ones for the longsword was that if you dodge an attack, and an attack comes through your infinite ability frames, what happens is you get a boost in whatever direction you are going, <laughs> and you get to run super fast. Which was super useful against this one enemy that was essentially a giant boar. Because it would charge you, and then you would charge through it, pull a 180, and slash it in the butt. <laughs> Talk to the handler in the canteen. That was this way, right? Uh, no. Um, just go up the stairs, pretty much. Uh, I think you can take the chains now. Maybe. Neato. Yep. Canteen. That is super convenient. Yep. Fuck, load times are good. Yeah. The hub world is pretty much just good to go at all times. Awesome. Give me my mission. The only thing that's a little bit annoying is that sometimes when you're in the hub world, it actually takes a couple seconds to load the quest. Like, after you've accepted. So, now and then, just walk around a bit before you accept the quest. Jagras of the ancient forest. Yeah, go clear out the bitches. Slay seven of the bitch monsters. Got it. Yeah. So where do I go? It's also telling you about the importance of eating before you kill. Oh yeah, talk to the cat and he'll give you a side quest about killing. Well, I mean, you have to go behind the counter to talk to him. This is just like, how do you eat? I will say, watch the eating cutscene once. Also, the meat platter is your typical good shit. Health, stamina, stamina, health and stamina. Yeah, meat platter appears to be the best. Just watch this at least once because it's worth watching. Yeah, dancing cats cook my food. Yeah. No, just wait till you see what the Master Chef does. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> this is truly why this giant cat is in charge. Because way, only he can place yeah. the parsley. Go around and talk to him. And for two reasons. Wait. One, I want to impart how large he is. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and he's gonna tell me to catch food. He'll tell you, he'll give you the side quest to go kill shit. Or he might just Max be... gains. Yeah. He might just be telling you that eating makes you swole. Okay, he was just telling you that eating makes you swole. Got it. Alright. You can leave now. Yep. Awesome, let's go kill some bitch monsters. Yep. Pretty much just cull the weak and get them the fuck out of the way. Come on, video game... It always, yep, there it goes. It always gets to that one point and then, like, fires it out. Okay, I'm just walking automatically. Oh, God. Yep. Got it. Bitch, I've been playing these games since before you were concept art. Yep. 
Uh huh. Want to check it out? I get it. Rule number two. I get it. Doing the supply box. <laughs> Fuck, lady. Let me just get my fucking gear. Free potions. Hey, Free shower curtains. Oh, well, let me take the vials. Because you don't need it. Yeah, uh, true. Yeah, you can't use them, they won't give them to you. Well, I have my health bar and my stamina bar. Is it still the st Oh, wow, only one? Yep. Well, I mean, you did eat before you left. Yeah. But it was only 25. Usually it's two sets of 50, right? Um, they like I said, they did do uh they did do quality of life like shortcuts. Okay. I already did oh, that video game. Oh, by the game. way, um, what's great is that at your base camp, one of the things that she will do for you is she will actively cook food if you ask her to. Can I still dodge cancel out of everything? Gather your spirit to increase its power. Ready your weapon before attacking. Okay. Keep in mind that what you're able to do depends on whether or not your weapon is drawn. Go beat the Bichasaurus. There you go. Wow, I forgot how little damage you're starting with. Okay, so do. the combo still tra chains forever. Yep. Because I, I know Monster Hunter... Uh, Monster Hunter across um, tried to stop people from just infinitely comboing. The fools that they were. Flew too close to the sun on things made of apanaths. Don't let the apanath escape. I don't intend to. It's made of food. Yeah. Come back here, dinner! Hey. Oh, what? Yeah, the tutorial man tells you to go kill the monsters Ooh, now. plants. That's the healing plant. Oh, okay. It just fires off healing fart gas. Neato. Soothing fart gas to clear your wounds. <laughs> yeah, follow him. I know what to do. Just take me oh, to the bitch monster. Well, you just walked past a herb. Wait, what? Yeah, there's herbs to pick up. So your scout flies will actually point out shit you can pick up as well. Where are the... What oh. the fuck? So, now you, you have a gun now. Like, you noticed it on your arm. Yeah, you can do a little bit of damage, or you can get stuff's attention, you can set up weird combos do with Do I it. ever run out of these? Yeah, you have a little ammo right down there. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you'll find more. There's a bunch of shit, too. Like, you can fire rocks out of it. Um, sometimes you can get shit to shoot. It's right there, actually, a pile of rocks. See? The brown rocks? To your right? Oh. Uh, you can get, like, if you beat up a monster enough, sometimes it will fire off new stuff to shoot. Neat. <laughs> uh, some of the bigger spiky stuff, for example, like, will drop what's called stinger pods, which are just piercing ammo that fell out of the These have to be herbs, right? Yep. Oh, also honey. Honey? We're right, straight the... ahead. Where he is. There's the honey. You, can gather honey and mix it with the you never actually encounter bees who are upset at your deeds. Weird. So yeah. you can only gather one off of it? Oh, wow! It'll Did grow it just auto-craft a mega potion? Yeah, it just auto-crafts. Uh, you can turn that off, but it will auto-craft if there's space in your inventory and you have enough. Yeah. Also, is that my palico on the left just grabbing shit for me? Like bitter bugs and red pits? Uh, no, that's your um, scout flies finding them. Oh. Pack of Jagras. Those are the monsters we're after. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, your, um, your scout flies will find the stuff for you, and whenever they hey, find assholes. it... assholes! They will uh, put it on the map for you. Um, once you've found it, by the Smack. way, it stays on the map forever. Smack! Poke. The Jaggerus know to fear the samurai. <laughs> God, fucking... Watching someone actually try to fight with that stupid Sethiroth side sword is the greatest shit to me. What, like in real life? Yeah. Like, look at this. Like, this thing is unwieldy. Regardless of super strength, it's just impractical. Yeah, I am dealing like no damage, but I suppose welcome to like. Starting welcome to equipment. yeah, starting equipment. Um, you when you get bones, I I recommend just immediately making the bone. Yeah, he just finished that for you with his boomerang. Well, yeah, the bone gear is always stronger, but it has less sharpness, right? Yeah. Is that still true? Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Also, the monster corpses appear to stick around for a bit. 
Yeah, you act, shit will actually stick around for pretty much until you collect it. Neat. That's actually a super good quality of life improvement. Yeah, uh, tail drops especially last for a fuckload what of time. What the hell is Red Pit? It's literally you're firing mangoes. Neat. Uh, it does very little damage, but um, it's got the longest range, I believe. Which lets you set up shit for, uh... Oh, nice! I just yeah. have fucking... Yeah. Uh, so your... Yeah, all of your basic equipment now is just unlimited use. You no longer have to deal with, um... For example... Oh, yeah, so whenever you pick up an ammo type, you can only have one ammo type at a time, so you'll forcibly eject the lesser... Well, not the lesser, but you'll eject whatever you were previously had. Fair enough. Also, yeah, shoot those, uh, yellow things. Shoot them. Watch what happens. Oh, boy. Now they're all blind. Do clean up. Hooray! Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's what most of the shooting is for. To hit the flies? Well, not specifically to hit the flies, but to hit traps and stuff. Uh, what's funny is that actually certain monsters, when blinded, will just madly flat, like, madly flail around like a bunch of jackasses. Well, yeah, that's what they do yeah. when they're blind. Uh, but it's actually, a, like, there's certain monsters that Oh, are... nice! I can pop it with melee, too! Yep. There's certain monsters that get more dangerous when blind, for all concern. Really? Yeah. Neat. Oh, god. There's also, uh, I was I was doing in, like, the second zone you get to, hunting a creature, and it's like, oh, hey, another monster's gonna show up, and I'm like, oh, what's this? And its name was just Diablos. Yeah, that's the two-horned version of the Monablos. It was yeah. in Monster Hunter 3, but not 4. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of them. Okay. Yep. You have 60 seconds to collect your carcasses. Oh, nice. It used to be like five. Yeah, you had like until the end of the sentence to collect that shit. Yeah, a little song would play, and by yeah. the time the song was over, it was already too late. Yeah. Some missions, like the missions where you're just uh, collecting up like fruit and vegetables for the chef, Yep. you get like 20 seconds. But like, you know, these ones where you actually kill stuff, you get the full time. Also, when you're in this mode, enemies stop attacking. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, they used to keep going all the time, and it yeah, would always... Yeah, it was the worst. Oh, nice. There's even a little timer, so you don't have to yep. gauge it by the fucking, uh... Gauge it by the music. Yep. Oh, it doesn't count individual seconds. It just tells you by tens. No, if you look, it's actually kind of ticking down. See? Yep. Okay. That's fine. But if you start a collecting when the timer runs... When the timer zeroes, it'll at least let you get the last thing. Hmm. Neat. Also, your cat will give you stuff. There is unfortunately no collect all button. What? There is a sell all button, but I mean, don't do that. Except for those, and if you don't plan on using guns, what needle barrier is useless. What the hell is a trail rider? Oh, uh, eventually you will get people who. So tail riders are literally um. Your pal, will, your pal Nico, will make friends. Okay. And uh, the tail riders are his friends, because when he runs into them, they will start following you around. Okay. And they also gather shit, yeah. I suppose. Actually, it's funny, too, because uh, he can learn monster languages and get, like, the Jagras and the, the Castadons to start following you. Oh, neat. Do they fight on your behalf? Or? Yes. Actually, it's great, because the Jagras will actually do that thing that, like, hunting raptors do, where they'll tackle the monster and just start biting it. Neat. And, and you then can just, you can just wail on it? Yeah. While the monster's dealing with this angry, tiny piranha fish on its asshole. Nice. Like I said, a lot of quality of life improvements, a lot of fun stuff, and a lot of shit where it's just like, I'm happy this exists. I didn't ask for it, but That's I'm not nice gonna make touch. you take it back. Although oh, I don't know why that cannon is on fire. Lizards. I don't oh, know why. Oh, yeah, that could be bad. <laughs> oh, jeez. I didn't realize my D&D &D character was here. <laughs> hmm. Kestodon. If I'm not mistaken, Kestodon are the, um... <sighs> Zoro Magdaros has to be the big one. Yeah, that's the thing that you crashed into. Okay. Kestodon are, like, um... They're a herd. Yeah. You know those dinosaurs that, like, you always see where they had, like, the big hard headplate and they headbutt everything? Yep. That's a Kestodon. Ooh, orange slice. Also, I apologize in advance that we're eating. I don't give a shit today. Yeah, I'm hungry too. 
squad manager. She's just telling you now you can do online shit. Oh boy. <laughs> Take me to the canteen. So the gathering hub is online? Mm-hmm. It's where you post or accept online missions. Oh, you had to talk to the fleet master. Just go write it back down. It's right here. Oh, that guy. The guy who will make shit. That's the fleet master. There you are, Piper. Hey, you are. <laughs> He's a pirate, you see. Yep. And he'll just make you... Alright, so yeah. So he, as a as a so well, he makes me weapons and armor. Yep, yeah. as a welcome, he's given you just a handful of um, armor, armor spheres. spheres. Yeah, you can actually uh, organize. Um, if you go to organize, you can totally organize by. Um... Oh, there you go. You can straight up get the second level katana. Thank God. Does he have a robot arm? Uh, no, that's his. Uh, he all everyone in the fleet. Has one of those weapon launchers. His happens to be a grappling hook weapon launcher. Neato. So yeah, as you can see by the tree, you now actually see where everything goes. So I don't know what I need for... You need skulls and hides, but of what, you have no idea. So why can't I craft this? Oh, you have to just have one. You don't have a bone katana yet. Oh, okay. Because so, you're in the upgrade tree right now, not in the making tree. Uh, if you leave this tree, you can actually go into the creation tree, but, uh, right now you're in the upgrade zone. And, of course, he's gonna make you upgrade your armor before- Oh, no, never mind. You can just forge now. What I do like is that these tutorials are very quick and easy to get the fuck out of the way. Bone Shodal. Yep. Yer, do the thing. Yeah. Also, the lady behind the other counter will build you- or sorry, not build, but she'll uh, sell you... you basic weapons. Yeah, she'll sell you the bone and iron equivalents in mm -hmm. case you want to just like fuck around with the tree. Okay. Why is circled back? Jap Japan? I don't know. No, but in Japan, usually X is back. Then they westernized it. They westernized it badly, and the West yeah. Triangle is back. I don't fucking know, man. You're gonna build another one. Yeah, so you're in the build again. And yeah, if you want to organize it, you can organize it. Yeah. Buy equipped is by far the best way to do it. You can also do by tree if you want to keep it like... You know. So where's the bone one? I can't... Am oh, I blind? next page. Oh. Because you have a lot of shit. What the hell was that? I think he coughed. Or one of his people did. Yeah, I've never seen that happen before. Weird. Hmm. Well, whatever. In any case, yeah. Um, 330 versus 279. 297. Alright, choice made. Yep. We're gonna be shit for uh, sharpness, but... Eh. That's fine. I like that his fucking uh, forge has so much shit going on, it's knocking into each other. Yeah, so just cram some armor sphere. Okay, so yeah, push up. There you go. Yeah, just cram some armor spheres into your nipples and you're done. Okay, so it's not that specific armor spheres need to go to each level, it's that each one fills the meter by a certain amount. Yep. Neat. You're eventually going to get to a point where one armor sphere won't do jack and you need to get an armor sphere plus. And then eventually you're going to need multiple Armor Sphere Pluses. But can you get, like, a bajillion Armor Spheres and it'll do something? Um... Or do they eventually just become straight up worthless? I, I, I haven't gotten to that point yet. They'll still do a noticeable amount, but it's like in uh, Gundam Builder. Okay. Where there's a certain point when just... It's no longer economical to oh, cram new, the points in. New quest to build shit. Yep. That actually seems like a pretty good system. Where it takes, like, 16 high-quality plastic... And, like, four billion cheap plastic. Yeah. I mean, if you have the cheap plastic, you might as well. It's just there is a faster one. If you want to skip it, push start. 
Or options, I guess they call it now. Hooray! I'm just gonna ignore skills for now. Yep. I mean, you're early level. You're pretty much in the do-whatever-you-want zone. Most of this shit doesn't matter. And here's the tutorial of... By the way, you don't have to come upstairs every time. Awesome. Oh, dude, there's quest boards everywhere. Yeah, there's one on pretty much every level. Neato. Where if there's an exit, there's a quest board. And now you can talk to her because she's the... the quest board. Oh. She's the one for this level. The other one is by the forge and the last one's down at the... Pretty much where you entered. So, respond to SOS as if someone's online, they can fire off a flare. Oh, if they suddenly which, need help? Yeah, pretty much it's if you fire off a flare, um... Oh, go out of this? Yeah, this, this is, is the arena. HR 12. Uh, back? Back, I mean? Oh, that's weird. Oh, I'm in multiplayer. Yeah, you're... Okay, post is what you want. You want to go to post. There you go, and then you go to assigned. So optional is obviously go collect the mushrooms. I th Oh, I, I think I know again. what's going on. Actually, pass me the controller for a second. I know what's happening. What's happening? Uh, you you accidentally, in your Madden fervor to get some menus out of your way, accepted voice chat, I believe. Whoops. Uh, Who am I voice chatting with? I think just in general, the, the thing... So Hold the on. game is just coughing at me? Not the game, but like someone with a mic is coughing in the background. Oh, nice. Wait, are we online and yeah. someone else is running around? Well, they're not going to be running around in the hub world, but they're probably posting some shit. Hi, random online person. I don't know if they can hear us. Oh, okay. Uh... Yeah, see, you can see Von they're actually Doe. posting shit. Uh, I actually don't know how to... Um... Playlist invited, recently played squads. I have no idea how to turn this off. Fuck it, we're on with Vondo. Let's do it. Alright, well, he just joined it. Oh, you also have a login bonus for free items. Because they give out daily bonuses and shit. Commemorative 6 million celebration item pack. Mm-hmm. Neato. 